So is it hard to accept that role? High school, you're, I'm sure, always starting. Is it hard to accept the coming off the bench, and how difficult is that? It's not, it's not difficult at all. Um, it's one of those things where I understand what I do have to do to help, help us win games, and that's all that matters to me. So if I could do that by coming off the bench, it doesn't make any difference. When you bank one, three in, I mean, okay, that's, you know, that happens. When you do it a second time in the same game, what, what, what goes through your mind in a situation like that? Uh, thank God it went in. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. I was just saying, when you bank in a three, do you hold your form? I honestly couldn't tell you. <laughs> I honestly couldn't tell you, uh, like I said. Um, it just it felt good when it came off my hand, so I, I feel like it was going to go in either way. So It was all line. Yeah, the fact that it went off the bank, I mean, I guess. Yeah. The, the game, the way the way they play defense um, and the way um, they overplay and it just reverse the ball, did you know going into the game that this is going to be an opportunity for me to get some threes because of the way they play defense? Um, I knew uh, this is one of the things where I just had to stay ready because you just never know. Okay. You know, things are always different once you get on the floor. But, you know, coaches did have us prepared, and they told us, you know, you guys will be able to get open threes off the skips and stuff like that. So my whole thing was just making sure I was ready for those moments. Gotcha. Seth, you played last year, but obviously your minutes have increased. Was it was it hard to sort of wait a little bit last year and, and just sort of watch from the side? Um, me being a competitor, you know, it's always hard. But at the same time, though, I knew who I was learning behind. You know, I was learning from – uh, Sean and Taz, which are two great guards to learn uh, from. So, you know, I just tried to be a sponge and absorb everything I can in order to, you know, help me and, you know, help us move forward. So, you know. What did you learn? When you saw them, what did you learn? Um, I learned how, to, you know, to compete. I learned, you know, some leadership things. You know, naturally, you know, watching those guys score and put the ball in the hole the way that they did, um, you obviously pick up, you know, little, you know, little things from that. But uh, that's pretty much it, though. You were here last year through the, the, the losing streak in conference games. Mm -hmm. um, you went through three. What was it? Was it relief when you finally got the win at Texas Tech? What was it? The mindset? Um, mindset was built. Yeah. Um, you know, there's you can't be satisfied. You know, it's only it's, it's just another win. We have to continue. You know, to try to build on that and get better. You know, so that by the time that time comes around, we know we're clicking and you know we're on we're hitting all cylinders. I don't know how far you, you, I know you're preparing for this game tomorrow, but you've got number 30 in the net on Saturday, then you got number 13 coming up, mm -hmm. then you got number eight coming up, then you got number nine coming up. There's some really, really challenging games coming up here in the next week to 10 days. Right. Um, we're just going to, you know, be as prepared as we can. You know, we're going to trust, you know, the coach's game plan and, you know, all of us at the team are going to make sure that we put in the work and, you know, try to be ready and be prepared to, you know, go try to get wins. Are you aware of what TCU's done since they lost to you guys? Sort of. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit, you know. But like I said, my main focus has been on us because, you know, we got to get things right here still and, you know, make sure that we're good, you know, because at the end of the day, it's about us and what we do. the hardest part of the adjustment to college um, you know, you're deep into it now but what was the most difficult part initially um for me just you know adjusting to you know being on your own <laughs> you know yeah, that's a that's a huge adjustment you know off the floor but on the floor it's still basketball you know uh things change you learn new things but at the end of the day it's still basketball so as long as I keep that perspective of what basketball is at its fundamental, I'm good. Can you talk to Josiah and Josiah about that since they're <coughs> young and on their own? Yeah, definitely. You know, um, those guys being new, um, you never know when we're going to need them. So just making sure that, you know, they're mentally ready and mentally there and physically there, you know, that's all that matters. So I'm just trying to make sure they stay uplifted and stuff like that.